Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Decision video. And in today's video, we are talking about year two. Yesterday was of course the celebration live stream. It was also Division's one year anniversary yesterday. The live stream was pretty cool. It was a good chance to kind of look back. There were loads of people from Massive there. They spoke about some of their favorite moments as well as talking about some of the stuff from year one, their kind of content plans, and of course what they're gonna be doing going into year two. So in this video, I'm gonna summarize everything you guys need to know. If you guys saw my video yesterday, then you may already have a kind of glimpse into that because some of that stuff was, of course, revealed ahead of time. However, there is still more to talk about. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Comment down below, let me know what you think about this. And let's get started. First up, starting today, March 9th, running until March 16th, there is a one-year anniversary reward for every single player in the division. If you log in, you have a free emote, which is a celebration emote. This one you can see right here. And you will also have 200 premium free credits. Bear in mind the premium vendor rotates, so there will of course be new stuff to buy. So you can hopefully use that to buy something if you don't want to actually spend any real money. So that is available to everyone from today, March 9th, up until March 16th. So you have plenty of time to grab that. All you need to do is log in and go to, I assume, the rewards claim vendor, grab that, and then you are good to go. However, on top of that, there are also a couple of events coming up. This is stuff that they have actually been trying to do, or sort of, you know, you guys might remember in the PTS a while back, they actually tested a double XP weekend. This is not actually double XP, it's double something else. So there are two events coming up. The first of which is from today till the 11th of March, and that is double HVT rewards. So if you do any HVTs, the rewards you would normally get will be doubled from today, March 9th, until March 11th. That is the first event they are running. The second one picks up when the first one ends, and that starts on March 11th and runs until March 16th. And during that event, you'll be getting double field proficiency caches. So anywhere you would normally get field proficiency caches, you will get twice as many. So to reiterate, event number one is today until the 11th, that is double HVT rewards. And when that finishes on the 11th, a new one will begin running until the 16th, and that is double field proficiency caches. So cool stuff to grab, cool stuff to get involved in. Of course, if you guys want to get some more loot and whatnot, then that is a good chance to get involved. So that is the current game. Now let's speak about year two. Now do bear in mind all the year two stuff is coming in, well, the first year two update is set to drop in summer. So they're kind of shooting for around July, August for that. And of course the other one will come out at some point, I'd imagine either the end of the year or beginning of the following year. And again, if you guys saw yesterday's video, you may already have an idea as to what that is. But to reiterate, all of the year two content is free. There will be no season pass for year two. So there is no content that you have to pay money for. Everything is being delivered just as a means to kind of continue to support the game. And it's all going to be completely free. That also likely ties into Ubisoft's sort of directive going forward. They actually announced, I think it was at the beginning of the year, that effectively any game from this point onward would no longer have paid DLC. It may well have microtransactions, but they basically want to make a shift to the point where everybody that buys the base game can get involved in all the content, even if they don't necessarily want to buy all the additional stuff. So from Ubisoft games in general, going forward, you're likely going to see microtransactions for cosmetic stuff, but not for things like maps, expansions, etc. That is, of course, what they said. Whether they stick to that will remain to be seen. Either way, year two content for Division is completely free. No season pass. It's going to be divided into two updates, as mentioned, one for summer, one for later down the line. And while there's, of course, a lot of stuff for them to reveal, what they did during the Celebration livestream was spoke about three aspects in the summer update, namely seasons, loadouts, and feats. So let's go through those in detail. Seasons is what they're calling it right now. It might not actually be called that when the expansion comes out. It might have a better name. But effectively, that is kind of a good way to describe the content. Seasons are limited time events where during this time, there'll be a playlist of activities and there'll be a modifier on that playlist to provide a new experience. There will be leaderboards attached to this. There'll be rewards associated with it. And there's also going to be a brand new vanity slot. They haven't spoken about exactly what that is just yet and they haven't revealed it in gameplay, but they did say they were pretty excited about it. If I had to hazard a guess, I would think maybe it could be like, if you look at, say, games like Final Fantasy, you have like glamour options, or you have a game like Monster Hunter Online where you have your base armor, but then on top you have effectively like a cosmetic slot where it can change the way you look without actually impacting your stats. It could well be a vanity slot that kind of globally changes how your character looks, which could be really cool. Imagine if, say, there was like a, a vanity LMB set, a vanity cleaner set, a Riker set, a hunter set, where you could look like that character while still having your gear underneath, you know, do that. That is, of course, pure speculation, but that could be really cool. Either way, there'll be vanity items and these will be tied to seasons. Now seasons, as mentioned, limited time events, they'll basically take a handful of missions, put them into a playlist 
and they will attach an associated modifier. So the example they gave, they said that each season will be themed. So one season might be like up close and personal, where during that season, you're then encouraged to fight within say 15 meters. So an example modifier then might be that you do less damage at range, you do more damage up close. So what they're then able to do is effectively shift the meta per season. So in that respect, if any of you guys are Overwatch players, think of it like Overwatch competitive seasons. It's not gonna be a PvP thing, but it happens for a period of time. You kind of participate during that time, you get your awards, you get your kind of rankings, and then when the season ends, a new season begins. So that's kind of how it's gonna work in the division. There'll be rewards associated to those seasons. So if you participate in that season, you get your awards, cool. If you miss out, then of course, you're gonna miss out on those items, but then there'll be another season and more stuff to earn. Now, there will be different rewards depending on your participation. If you just participate, just all up, then you'll get rewarded. So for everyone that takes part, you're always going to be getting something. However, because there are leaderboards tied to this, then if you are, say, in the top 1% or the top 5% or however they decide to do it, then there will, of course, also be additional rewards tied to that. One thing they are actually thinking about doing, but they do need to kind of test out to actually see if the UI can support this, is things like titles and symbols. So, for example, if you, say, participated in Season 1, and you were say top 1%, maybe there'll be like a title that's associated with that. You can put it next to your name. So when you're standing in the terminal or someone encounters you in Lost Stand, they can see your title and maybe kind of have an idea as to who you are, what you've done and where you've come from. That's something they're thinking about. That's something they would like to do, but they did say for that, they do need to kind of check into UI considerations. And well, yes, one of the sort of like main comments surrounding this content is, well, hold on a minute, you're not really giving me anything new. You're basically just taking existing content, putting it in a playlist, slapping a modifier on it, and then making me do it again. And well, yes, that is strictly speaking true. The idea of being able to kind of earn additional items, perhaps get titles, perhaps get vanity items and stuff that is just sort of, you know, unique to that particular season is still something that I personally really enjoy. In fact, it might well be one of those situations where it encourages them to, say, add higher difficulties to more missions. So there are definitely a lot of missions in the world map that people just tend not to play because they're either not legendary or they're not challenge mode missions. So if they can at least kind of widen that net, then it could well just see us having a chance to revisit missions that maybe we haven't played for quite some time. Either way, again, more details coming in the future, but for the time being, that is a quick glimpse at seasons. So limited time events, playlist with an attached modifier, rewards associated, leaderboards attached, and cool vanity slot items. Moving on to loadouts. Now, yes, this is something we have been asking for pretty much since the game came out, and finally we are getting it. Of course, it's a little bit annoying that it's not actually gonna drop before the update, but this will be coming in the summer with the first update, and that is loadouts for your gear and weapons. I'm sure you guys are very much aware what this is, but on screen is some gameplay they showed during the live stream to give you an idea as to how these will work. You'll effectively have a few different slots in your inventory, and then you basically have your gear set that you've got equipped with your weapon and your skills and your talents, and you then save it as a loadout. You can then swap your gear to something else, save that as a second loadout, and then you can switch on the fly. The loadout saves your weapons, your mods, your gear, your gear mods, also your skills and your talents. So it allows you to encapsulate your entire build. So that way, if you have, say, a PvP build, a PvE build, maybe a team focus build, a solo build, maybe for the different seasons, you might have a close combat build, a range build. You can then swap between them at the click of a button. One thing they did also say they want to try and do, and this is template builds. Now, this is something that wouldn't necessarily be geared towards, say, you know, those of you guys that are proficient with building your own sets or, you know, those of you guys that have those finely tuned min-max builds. But this is geared more so towards, say, the newer players. They want to introduce this thing whereby you might be able to use the loadouts to look for a template build. It might be like, say, a template Firecrest build. And it will then have recommended pieces and you can then complete that by, you know, obtaining different pieces. And then as you can kind of gradually build the loadout, it then works you towards that build. So if you guys are perhaps new to Division and you sit there and you think, you know, there are all these gear sets, all these weapons, what do I actually do? What should I be aiming for? You could then look at a template loadout and you could then work towards that. So think of it kind of like a sort of, you know, training gear set system. Something pretty cool. Obviously, probably not going to be massively applicable to a lot of you because if you guys know what you're doing and you kind of know what you're going after but it's still something they want to kind of tie into that either way though the long awaited loadouts are coming in the summer and then finally the third thing they spoke about that's coming in summer is this thing called feats these are basically in-game achievements that will reward you with patches and marks of distinction patches are things that you can actually physically equip to your character so that that way when you're standing in the terminal you're in last stand you're in any kind of situation where you can see other players they can look at you and they can see exactly where you've come from it's basically a means to further show off, you know, your character, who you are, what you've done. So examples of this might be, say, someone that's completed all three legendary missions, you might get a patch for that. Or if you've triggered, say, a thousand weak points on an enemy, you might get a patch for that. Maybe you've kind of come number one in, I don't know, Dark Souls leaderboards. Who knows? There are loads of examples, loads of things they're still fine-tuning. But either way, again, kind of tapping into this whole idea of, you know, telling your own story, customizing your character, then based on your achievements you've earned in-game, you will then be able to show some of those in person. 
Also, some of these will be retroactive. So if you guys have gone through and done X, Y, Z, then when the update goes live, you will probably find you've already got a lot of different patches that you can equip, but there will be some that you definitely still need to work towards. So again, something else to aim to. So if you kind of combine those, you'll then have vanity items, vanity slots. With patches, you can actually have some rather unique looking agents. So that is pretty much all they spoke about at the moment. Bear in mind, there is, of course, still a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff to show. They did say during the live stream, Julian Garrity, creative director, said he is a really big fan of the ETF and the way they have basically kind of engaged with the community to help shape the game. And they definitely want to kind of continue with that. So do expect there to be some sort of ETF surrounding 1.7, which will, of course, be the next update. So definitely expect to hear something about that at some point down the line. Also, a couple of questions they had in the stream. Large paid content expansions, things like map, level cap, etc. is unfortunately off the table. So again, it's all going to be free. But what they're going to be doing within these updates is still somewhat limited. So you won't be going to, say, Central Park. You won't be going to a different region. You won't be suddenly, you know, leveling up to level 50 and things like that. So largely that experience is going to remain intact. And the first update, the one we just spoke about, is largely PvE focused. It's much more about giving people content they can play. However, they have heard the desire to basically expand on the story and find out, you know, what's happened with some of the key characters. So they have said that the second expansion will have a much stronger narrative focus. That doesn't necessarily mean to say you're going to have like a whole host of, you know, 50 new story missions, but they did say they want to try and work narrative into the next update. So for those of you guys that want to know more about the lore, want to know more about kind of the story and whatnot, then hopefully you can get something out of that. But the first one is just activities and stuff to do. So for that, again, summer, aiming for July, August time. And the other one, of course, will happen further down the line. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So for those of you guys that missed the stream, that is effectively what is happening with Division right now and also year two. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.